Welcome to part one of this tutorial showing you how to create a piece of artwork in response to Hattie Stewart and you'll see I've already opened up the image I want to use in Photopia and the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to create this heart that Hattie Stewart has uh, running through many pieces of her work. So I'm going to zoom in and do this heart in the bottom corner of my piece and I'm going to go to the shape tool and I'm going to choose custom shape and you'll find up here a drop down menu of lots and lots of different shapes and there's a heart there so I'm going to click on that heart and that's going to enable me to draw the heart shape um, but obviously it's blue I need it red so I'm going to go to the color swatches at the top here and just click red for both of those and that turns the fill and the outer line red and I'm just going to resize it so it's as big as I want it and that is the heart shape done and dusted I now need to do the eyes so I'm going to go to the pen tool and I'm going to make sure that I've got my color swatches as white both the fill and the outer line okay and then I'm going to draw and click and then click again and bend click and it click and then drag to bend it okay you'll get the hang of it and I don't care about that bottom I'm going to be doing something with that um, right click on the layer and rasterize it and that turns it from a live shape into just a normal shape that I can just move about as much as I want so I'm going to place that one there and then I'm going to right click on the layer and duplicate it and that's going to give me another of those shapes again that I'm going to just move and get into position. Then I'm going to use the ellipse select to just on that layer select that bit and then I press delete and it gets rid of the white and then same here just make sure I've got the right shape okay and then on the right layer because obviously this piece is on a different layer so I click on the layer press delete and there you go, I have my eyes the right shape. Okay, um, I'm going to duplicate that layer again, that one, and I'm this time going to fill it with the paintbrush. So I'm going to go to the color select, choose black, and then go to the paint bucket and fill that shape with black. I'm then going to use the arrow tool just to reshape that. and turn it a little bit and get it roughly the shape I want there's another way to improve that I think I want to just warp that a little bit so I'm going to go edit transform warp and that's going to allow me to grab these handles and just stretch it about a bit and make sure I have it exactly how I want it okay don't worry about that bottom bit hanging over onto the red. We'll deal with that in a minute. I'm then going to duplicate that layer. Make sure that that layer is above the other white. There we go. Spin that. And plot that where I want it. Okay. Now these bottom bits we can get rid of now. So I'm going to go to the white eye layer. That one. And I'm going to use the magic wand to select everything around the eye. Then I'm going to go back to the black layer and I'm going to press delete. And because I'd selected that area, it's gotten rid of it. I'm going to do the same on the other white eye. Get the magic wand. Select everywhere around that eye. Go to the black layer and press delete. And then again, that gets rid of the excess. Okay, I'm just going to zoom in because we want to put some details into the eye. So I'm going to get the polygonal select tool, choose the right layer, make sure I've got the, that black layer on. And then I'm just going to cut a triangle out of the eye there, press delete, go to the other eye, cut another triangle, and then make sure I'm on the right layer, press delete, and that's it. And now you've got these little kind of windows that you need to put in as well. So I'm just, again, going to use the polygonal lasso tool that I'm still using. Make a little diamond shape there. Press delete. Do the same again. Oops. 
There we go. Press delete. Okay, and then I'm going to go to the other eye. Make sure I'm on the right layer. Another square. Press delete. Diamond shape, I should say. And one above. Press delete. And that is your eyes done and dusted. Okay. It looks pretty good so far. Then I'm going to go back to my heart shape. Um, because the noses on these little hearts are actually hearts, but they're black. So I'm going to go to the color swatches, make sure they're black. And then I'm going to rasterize this layer because I want it to just be a normal shape, not a live one. And then I'm just going to turn it upside down and shrink it a little bit. And there you go. That's my nose. Piece of cake. I'm now going to go back to the pen tool for the mouth. Okay. And it's as easy as click and then click again and drag to make that curve. And again and again and every time um, dragging it a little bit to make the curve to go the way you want it to go. Don't worry if you go outside of the uh, heart shape. This is a live shape so I can move it about. It's on its own layer. So once I'm done, I grab the arrow tool so I can change it. Okay, and then I'm also going to go Edit, Transform, Warp, and I'm just going to play with the handles um, to smooth out curves, make it a slightly different shape, just so I'm happy with it, really. And then once I've got the right shape, go back to the arrow tool, and I think I'm just going to make it slightly bigger. And, yep, I think I'm happy with that. So I'm going to right-click and rasterize that, turn it into a shape, plain shape now. Now we're going to do a tongue. So I'm going to go to the shape tool again and get the ellipse shape. And I'm going to draw an ellipse at the bottom of the mouth there. And obviously I want it to be pink, but I want to keep the outline black. So I'm going to not mess with the outline. And I'm then going to right click on that layer and duplicate it. Go to the arrow to tool to move that over. And then I'm going to grab that one and move it below the other. And you might see the tongue beginning to appear. And then I'm going to go back to the mouth layer and click the magic wand. So it makes a mask everywhere where the mouth isn't. I'm then going to go and just rasterize my two pink layers. And I'm going to press delete on one and then on the other. And you can see everywhere where they were in the mask, they've been deleted. And the last thing to do is to zoom in, grab the paintbrush, and because I've still got the mask on, I can eye drop that pink colour, grab the paintbrush, make sure I'm on the top pink layer, and just use the paintbrush to paint off that little bit of black. Okay, so that is the mouth done and dusted. So now we need to think about putting the kind of shiny highlights along the top edges of the heart. So we're going to zoom in so we can see what we're doing. And we're going to grab the pen tool and make sure we've got white insides. So you go to the color and grab white and then click OK and then white, there we go, white for the outline as well, and then just click and drag, click and drag, click and drag, click, and it doesn't need any dragging there, just a little bit of dragging at the end there to curve it off, and there we go, we've got our shape that we can then move about, resize until we're happy with, put it where we want it to be. Okay. I think I'm just going to move it up. There we go. Lovely. Okay. And then the shine tends to have a little bit at the bottom as well. So I'm just going to use the ellipse shape 
just to make an ellipse and then move that into place as well. Okay. And then next thing I'm going to do is rasterize the little shape and rasterize the big shape. And then click on the one above and merge down. So it merges the two layers together. I can then duplicate that layer because I'm going to need it again and drag it over because I need to put the shine on here as well. So this is going to reshape it, turn it around till I'm happy and I need to move it closer to the edge as well. So I'm going to grab the edit transform warp again and just pull that corner closer to the edge with the handles and I'm happy with that. Okay, and now I have a fully finished heart. I'm going to, to save memory, grab all of the layers, right click and merge layers. And that whole heart has gone onto one layer that I can then move about twist, turn, and place anywhere in my piece of work. Make it a tiny little bit bigger, I think, pressing shift so it doesn't change shape. And there we go. And I'll just zoom out and you can see that is how to create the heart that is gonna be in your piece of work. And that is the end of the first part of this tutorial. Join me again in part two.